How's it going gamers? We're back doing another video on Minecraft Dungeons. So in this video, I'm going to be doing the mission Redstone Mine. So I'm, for this mission, I'm going to be telling you what you're going to be going up against and what you're going to be needing to do and all the, you know, pretty much all the important stuff that you're going to need to know in this mission. So let's get into it, shall we? Unsettling rumblings in the mountains of the Overworld. Whispered rumors say the Illagers are building something dreadful far beneath these ancient mines. Something of soot, metal, and flame. Only a hero such as yourself could brave the cavernous underground and uncover the truth. Alright, let's go save these villagers. So the villagers that we're rescuing, they are brainwashed and so they're like pretty much doing slave labor, you know, working pretty much for the illagers. So we're going to have to break them out of their, you know, their mindset and pretty much free them. So I found out that for this mission, you're actually going to be fighting your first mini boss and you're also your first main boss. So you're going to have to watch out for that. So like the mini boss you're going to probably go against, it might be one of those villager micromancers that have um, the tiny little fairies that go against you and also uses magic, uses like, a lot of ground magic against you. And also, I will leave like the final boss, you know, I'm just going to leave that for last because I don't want to give you all the detail of the final boss at the very end, so. And also, the new enemy that you're going to be going against will be the cave spider, or pretty much the poisonous cave spider, so you see right there, he poisoned me, so you better watch out for them. Also, there's slime. Okay, well that's new. To be honest, whenever I played this, there was never slime. But that's pretty new. And that's, I think that's pretty neat too that they added slime. Even though, yeah, they're already in the game, but I didn't think they were going to add them on here. Or I didn't think we were going to see them right now. So, Oh, that zombie just got hit by a cart. So yeah, you got to watch out for the cart for yourself. Because they can actually knock you off and do damage to you. So... I was trying to keep my distance. Bread. I don't need bread. I'll take it anyway, but I can't eat bread. Too many carbs. Oh, we just freed our first villager. So yeah, we got also got these new illagers, illagers to fight. We got the cross the villagers. No, they're not really as bad. And they also added the, the armored crossbow villagers. So. They can be very annoying in some parts. They're pretty much just like skeletons, so. And also, we just got a chain. Hmm, neat. So, yeah, and most of the, you know, high tier missions that you're going to be doing, you will see some bosses. You know, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. But I have no idea if we might see a mini boss in this map, so or on this mission anytime soon. Sometimes it just changes up because I, I swear the maps change on you constantly. They're never the same. And I don't have a problem with that. Pretty much just shows it that it's more to explore. It's you know it's different, not the same for everybody, and I find that to be free. And also to give you guys a heads up, for most of my videos, I'm gonna sometimes they're gonna cut out like mid, you know, mid through the gameplay. But you know that's okay. There's gonna be a video right after that. It's gonna be like a part two. But the thing is, the reason why I'm doing that is I don't want to make my videos that long and boring. I want to make them short and sweet, pretty much make it more interesting for most people. So 
because we don't want a long video, do we? We want a nice short video. But look, this is what I was telling you about. This is the boss right here. You can see right there why he's a little mini boss because he has a health gauge right there. So best to be careful of him. He can be very annoying, with, especially with his ground attacks and his pixies. But, you know, he could be easily dispatched, even though I had a little issue there. More bread. Oh. <laughs> Too many carbs. And also, they added these. They also added mob spawns. So you're going to have to destroy these mob spawns so the monsters won't spawn anymore. Even though you probably already knew that from playing Minecraft, but, you know, on here they spawn very quickly, right whenever you dispatch all these zombies, so you're gonna have to do it quick and fast. Sometimes I always keep on forgetting to summon my dog because the dog is so, you know, helpful. He can pretty much just, you know, just, you know, take care of so many enemies or pretty much be a distraction. So, that means you can take them out. So, oh, I, we almost died there. You gotta be more careful. Like what I tell you, people that have distance between us literally are you know, the bane of my existence. Let's try and get all these villagers. So yeah, these Mechromancers, these different ones, they will actually give like the monsters, or not, not the monsters, I would say, mostly the illagers. They will give the illagers a little bit of a boost of health and also damage, so you better watch out for them. You know, you want to dispatch them quickly as well. There's a lot of mobs there. We're having a little bit of an issue. Yeah. Make sure to take advantage of your bow, because you know the bow is going to be very helpful to dispatch mostly skeletons and spiders whenever you go up more against zombies. So mostly just best to use your bow to get rid of spiders, creepers, and also skeletons, or mostly distant enemies. So whenever you start going up close, you know, you can just not get bombarded by arrows.
All right, so when we go right through this pit right here with all the lava, this is where we're going to be fighting our first boss. So I'm not going to really, you know, say much about it. You're going to just have a look for yourself. So yeah, we got to fight a giant redstone golem. So yeah, this guy, he'll be doing a lot of, you know, ground attacks like right there. So you're going to have to watch it. But to be honest, all you got to do is just, just keep your distance and just shoot him in the that's mostly all you gotta do. Easy peasy. So yeah, just keep your distance and just, you know, just start hitting them with arrows. But if we had actually had friends with us playing this game, that boss actually would have been way harder. Because if you have friends, the bosses and the enemies actually become a lot harder. So uh, now let's go get out of this mission. So the rumors are true. The Illagers are building a dreadful forge under the mountain. But that was a pretty fun mission. I actually enjoyed that playing it for the second time. Let's get our chest. Oh, look at that. A beacon. Hmm. Never seen that. Actually, let's see what this beacon does, actually. Hmm, we can't use it, so probably use for something more important. But we'll probably find out in the next video, or the next mission, I mean. And also, just to give you guys a heads up, if you guys didn't know, if you actually um, get rid of a weapon, or actually get rid of a weapon that has an enchantment point on there, you will get the enchantment point back, so you don't really have to worry about that. And I might show you right here, so we're going to enchant this weapon right here, and you see that right there it has an enchantment on it. So if you actually salvage, you know, the weapon you know, or dismantle it, you will get emeralds and also you will get your enchantment point back. So if you thought that, oh, I enchanted a, an old weak weapon and, you know, I won't get the enchantments back for it, you don't have to worry. You're going to get the enchantment. You're going to get the enchantment back. So that means you can just keep on, you know, you know, getting rid of those old weapons and get back your enchantments. So you don't have to, you know, the threat. At first, whenever I thought I thought I was gonna lose, you know, my enchantment for like forever, but until I found out that you could do that, I was like relieved. So that means I'm, I'm telling you this so you can be relieved as well. Huh. So uh, yeah, this is a very fun game. I do recommend this to anybody. And I actually, I might start trying, you know, hook up with my friends and start playing this too. You know, get stronger, do more missions. So and so for the next mission that we're gonna do. We're probably going to do the the soggy swamps. We might do that mission next. And I know with this mission, we're going to have to be fighting a lot of witches. So, yeah, just by looking at it and just knowing that it's swampy and showing witches, it's going to be, you know, we're going to be fighting witches. So, and also there's this one place right here. It's a dungeon called the Creepy Crypt. You know, I did that like um, yesterday, but there's like no story and no dialogue to it. It's just, you know, a little dungeon just to do to get some more emeralds and, you know, equipment. But to be honest, I just want to actually just go through the story and show you the story, you know. But I might do a video later or maybe, you know, some other time on the Creepy Crypt. So, but instead, we're actually just continue doing story missions instead. So, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, comment down below, and share it with your friends. With that out of the way, I will see you gamers in the next video. Deuces!